Hey guys, Philosopher here. Today I'm gonna to talk about the dev announcement on ISO 8 and the Doom Raid. Now I gotta say, uh, I realize that I have been uh, ragging on Scopely lately. I think that this is okay. I don't know why it took so long uh, for them to come up with this. It's not what I would do. Uh, I think it's not gonna satisfy people. Uh, is it helpful? Sure. So let's walk through this and I uh, will tell you, give you my thoughts here. So, okay, this is a bunch of corporate speak. Let's just get to the bottom line. So they're gonna put, here's, okay, yada, yada. This is basically like we've heard you. Then here you go, Doom first. So they're gonna bring back Doom Raid First Strike into the game, but not permanently. So for the duration of Silver Surfer Shards and the Milestone Rewards. In other words, you're going to get First Strike, but you're going to get it for a limited period of time. And this will kind of make sure you're able to get Surfer Shards. Uh, I don't know whether this is going to really satisfy folks because, frankly, I think this took so long that the damage has already been done. I mean, I know a lot of uh, people who have left the game recently People who've sold their accounts, people, uh, some alliances have even gone belly up. So, to me, it's a little too, it's a little too little too late. Uh, but uh, I will say that one of the things that felt the worst about this move for folks is there were some alliances who were able to run Doom Raid and now they can't. This is helpful to them because at least they can keep running it in practice and get their, you know, practice the nodes until they're ready to do the regular Doom Raid. But the issue is they're not going to update the rewards. So you're going to be doing the Doom Raid, but you're not going to get any blue ISO out of it. So I, I just feel like it, it ultimately means that those alliances are still further behind. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't really feel, this part of it to me, the Doom First Strike part of this, doesn't feel good to me. Uh, it really, you know, what they should have done is made it so at least the base difficulty, the normal Doom Raid, was uh we had no iso restrictions or very low right iso level one you know two or three something like that um you know i think uh, you know frankly uh this is not going to make this is ultimately not going to be happy with people are not going to be happy with this change that's the bottom line and they don't even it's not even in the day in the in the game yet so you know, basically they're like okay we'll get this back to you so you can you know work on your silver surfer shards uh, but then it's going to be gone after the Silver Surfer period, and we, you know, we aren't there yet. We don't have it in the game. It just doesn't feel like enough. Uh, disappointing. What they should have done is until they can, e e at least until they get this back in the game, they should have um, uh, made it so the base difficulty didn't require high levels of ISO. Um, now, here's this is significant though. And I think a lot of people are, are going to miss how significant it is. So now you're going to get twice as much, uh, two, twice as many ISO crystals from farming the nodes. That's huge. And then now you're going to get twice as many ions from the 24, the ones that cost 24 energy. And in fact, it's going to be actually so you're going to get 240 fragments in addition to 2000 ions i think that's a very substantial increase and then here a thousand ions and 40 fragments very very interesting and then here um this is also really huge because right now one of the issues with farming iso and i did a farming iso guide which i will um i will uh uh, link below in the description right now one of the issues is and i'm going to show you i'll give you an example when we go to uh, we're going to go to my roster here for a second so if i go to my roster I, obviously i got a lot of iso but let's go here to a character that doesn't right for protector all i really need is this one here okay i, I have if you see here i got 71 but i'll have like a jillion of these 324 I don't need these. I don't want to farm every node, but there aren't enough nodes uh, for you to farm just the piece you need. So this, being able to farm this node more, in other words, to be able to um, 
to be able to refresh, you know, to, to, to you know, farm this particular piece mo- twice as many times before I have to spend power cores to refresh the node is huge. Because right now, frankly, what I do is I just use 50 power cores to refresh these nodes. I'm blowing power cords to get these particular pieces. Because what ends up happening is like this must be paired on a piece with controller or something that I'm farming a lot. And so I have a lot of them. So it's just all very uneven. And so I think, you know, as a practical matter, if you're doing it right and you're refreshing the ISO energy, let's say even just doing the 50s, you're going to get a lot more ISO going forward. And you're frankly not just going to be able to keep up with new characters needing ISO, but you'll probably be able to catch up on some of the characters you have. It, this is a very substantial improvement. I know it doesn't seem like it, and Scopely does um, does a lot of things that we disagree with, but this, I think, is a reasonable improvement. It means that the, the offers are now even more ridiculous for Green Eye, so uh, I think they're even a worse deal because you might as well just get power cores and spend it doing refreshes and using the energy. I think the, the energy now makes a lot of sense uh, as a way to uh, fill your roster out. So I, I've got to say this piece of it, is welcome because if we go back here for a second, you know, what it, it, it's a number of different things that they're doing. Twice as many crystal drops, twice as many ions on the 24 things, more than twice as many ions going from 425 to 1,000. And you're going to have, you know, uh, uh, I think this mean they mean power cores instead of H. I don't know what HC is, but they probably mean power cores. Um, uh, you know, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to be able to do the node twice as many times before you refresh. So I think that is very significant. And then the rest of this stuff is just nothing. I mean, this is basically them telling us, here are the changes that we've done to make Doom Raid easier. I will say that the base level of Doom Raid Seems easy based on what I'm seeing. I, we haven't done the base difficulty. I've only been doing difficulty one, which is a lot harder. It's 75% more damage and 35% more on the other stats, health and protection and uh, armor and so forth. Focus, whatever, resistance. But um, the, the, doom, the, the base level doom rate seems at least, at least somewhat easier from the videos that I'm seeing and stuff. But uh, they're showing you exactly what they've made easy. Um, uh, here, what they've done to change it. I, I don't doubt that they've made it easier, but the bottom line is the, the problem here was not the doom raid and that it was easy or not easy. The problem was that the ISO requirements were BS. Um, and I, I don't really don't, I think this was just a distraction. So I ignore this part. The first part of it, this is, you know, not what we needed, but this is very significant and is it's going to help alliances out. So here's my recommendation. If you're Having trouble right now, your alliance doesn't have the the um, pieces that you need, the ISO you need to get through to Doom Raid. Is I would I think once First Strike comes, I would just go to First Strike just to get everybody acclimated to the to the raid, and then get people in your alliance if you're alliance leader or captain focused on farming ISO and spend. I know we're all low on cores. Everybody's low on cores unless you're a big spender. Spend even if you're going to just spend and do two ISO energy refreshes or three, it can make a big difference just to get more ISO energy and and target. I'll, I like I said, I'll put my link in the description and ISO farming. Target the specific pieces you need, and th- this will be very substantial. Um, this will hopefully get you guys to catch up. So by the time first strike is gone, or even before then, you might be able to get into the regular Doom Rain and start getting that blue ISO. All right, guys, if you, you know, not, not everything we wanted, but it's, it's at least better than nothing. That's, that's my take on this one. If you like this video, uh, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Give me your thoughts below. Be interested in that or go to my discord. Lots of great discussions there and check out my Twitch stream. That's linked below as well. I stream most weeknights.